To make a little bit of smarter system, we need to update our script. We want to select each object and then uh, we want to just have a check. It's kind of test and buy system. So we want to see if this is correct location or if this is correct object. After we confirm it, we can just press confirm button to buy or to really place the object. For that, we're going to update our script. We don't need instantiate object anymore. Well, you will see errors, but it's fine. We want to have what we want to have is public void set object to place. And this we're going to get game object inside of here. So what we're going to say is object to place is going to be obj prefab every time when we click the buttons what we need to say is just object first is going to be obj prefab and obj prefab is going to be the object place select object to place open the bracket and what we need to type is just object first and now this is like this is going to input inside of the game object which is obj prefab and obj prefab is going to be object to place and this will go to same to the other two void well till now is uh, mostly similar to before right and now we need to have just two more buttons which is going to be select button and test or check button so public void Let's create click to check public void click to place and inside of the click to check well first in case uh, object to place is nothing we didn't in case we didn't select anything to avoid the error we're going to say place if object to place is empty which is null it's going to just return which means just avoid the error and then to place instantiate the object first of course we need to type the instantiate object with object to place exactly same and then which is going to be placed at to placed indicator dot transform that position and place indicators transform that rotation every time when we want to check we want to see only one right I mean this is just to check so it's not going to be permanent it shouldn't be the permanent right so we're going to create another game object private let's say check before place and check before place is going to be this instantiate object so if this check before place is not empty if there is a something check which means like we have to destroy it we want to only have one so I want to destroy the check before we place so every time when we click the button we always going to have only one check before place inside of the check to place we want to have like the permanent instantiated object in this time right At the beginning is going to be the same just to avoid the error we want to just avoid our object to place is going to be no and it's going to be return in the same time if check before place is not null so if there is a something is in checking now this time we're going to instantiate check before place at the location of check before place so exactly same thing what we have we're going to instantiate that object and then after that we'd like to destroy check before place but in this case there can be error because we are destroying check before object after that we are still using check before place so this is a bit complicated and can be error so just to avoid error we want to have private game object let's say new place 
the object, which is going to be really placed. New placed object is same as check before place. And we're going to instantiate new placed object. And then just in case the check, if check is null, if check before place is not null, so in case which is else, if check before place is empty, we're just going to instantiate, let's copy this one, we're just going to instantiate object place, which is we select it. So I mean, actually it's going to be same as this line. So let's copy this and paste, and that's it. And save it. Make sure if all your object is attached, all the buttons, right? Everything is good. But yeah, we need to have two more buttons. So I'm going to copy and paste, duplicate these two buttons. And let's go to the 2D scene. And these two, we want to have the anchor point to right button corner. Top one is going to be check. So I'll change the name of the button to check, check button. And second one, place button. To check button, I will change the color to white. Place button, I will change color to dark gray. Let's change the text. Okay, in the last, in the button, don't forget to change your function. So here, select place to check and place. Select place to click to place and save it. Open the build settings and change the name to, yeah, I'll say just AL indicate the multiple and build and run. After it shows the place indicator, now, well, for now, if you just select the uh, click the check place, nothing happened. But if you click the play, uh, the red or green or blue, and then if you click the check, you will see that it is checking. Just only so you only can one see one object at each time, and then when you click the place, it's going to be there. And now, if you check other other one. The red one, which we placed actually, is going to be there. And if I click the place again, it's going to be there. See? And something like that. 